he can be anywhere in the world when he's here with us. So I acknowledge the presence of him. And our director of tourism, correct? Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, creating this space for this conversation. As, as I was preparing myself, because originally when I first got the invite, I believe the title was uh, Virtual Woman or Local Woman. And then I realized that the theme had changed. And I began to pray because I am also a woman of prayer. I've been also a pastor uh, for the past 13 years. I am the first in my region to hold a congregation of over 300 plus. Wow. And, and so I have a lot of young people, a lot of young entrepreneurs, those that have been in the inner cities, those that have sold drugs, those that have lost their identity, those that have been uh, victims of, of domestic violence, et cetera. I'm also an overcomer of that. And so I'm very passionate about women. I'm very passionate about what God can do when you put him first. I remember growing up and um, in my time, you know, growing up being a Haitian descendant, we were forced to go to church. We did not have an option. Every Friday night, Saturday morning, we were in church. But it was the very essence, the very thing that changed my life forever because I did not know where God was going to take me. But it's so important that you have mentors, and you have mothers, and you have fathers, and you have people that see you beyond your mess, beyond your dysfunction, beyond your deficiency, beyond uh, where you come from. And so my mother was that person for me. Though I gave her hell, you see me here today, I am one of those children that gave my mother a lot of hell. <laughs> yes. And so if she was here today, she would be standing in her back saying, Amen! Because I was the one. But God has raised me up to be the trailblazer, the person that would speak for my family. And I believe those of you that are here today, you are trailblazers. As I was uh, trying to study it, and I wanted to hear what it was that God wanted me to say to the people today, he brought me to this story about the daughters of Zelophehad. Do you, do you guys know that story, the five daughters of Zelophehad. And he began to say to me, I want you to concentrate on the number five. And the number five, if you study a numerology, you know the number five, biblical numerology. The number five means grace and it means strength. And these women were game changers. Their father was an admirable man. He was a man that loved God, a God-fearing man. And these women were called to do something that has never been done before. Many of you here today, you will do something that has never been done before. And it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter uh, what society has labeled you, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. If God be for you, who can be against you? And these women were daring women. They were, they were daughters of Zelophehad. They were sisters. And the, the, the thing that stood out to me the most was that they were praying women. And I know some people say, well, it doesn't take all of that. You know, you don't have to be so spiritual. But I'm here to beg to differ. You are going to put Satan under your feet. If you're going to break generational curses, if you're going to create new generational blessings, you must be a woman of prayer. You must be a woman of insight. You must be a woman of tenacity. You have to be the one that's not going to settle for the crumbs, but you understand that you wear a crown. And this crown of grace and strength will allow you to do some remarkable things. I remember uh, a, a term ago, maybe about four years ago, when I was running for my campaign, they said, this can't be done. They said, who is this little black girl? Because we don't know her. But I realized the reason why the Lord had to disguise such things is because sometimes people will look at you and they will underestimate who you are. They will Google you. They will try to find fact you. Come on, they will go back into who your family is, your last name, glory to God. But God will allow the mess so you can be a messenger. See, I was... that this connection 
was by coincidence. I believe what God is getting ready to do is going to be something glorious. And 400 years ago, we are here now. Our people left here as, as, as immigrants. They left here as, as, as those that were enslaved by the white man. But now you have so many sons and daughters that are coming back as doctors and lawyers, physicians, engineers. 